What is going on Wastelanders? It is me the Lone Vault Wanderer here with a fun Fallout 4 video. Now I say fun because I believe that the long time hardcore fans of Fallout will appreciate this bit of content. So in the Fallout 4 release trailer there was a point that was noteworthy to me. At the point where the protagonist pats the dog and you get the first clear glimpse of the Pip-Boy that will be used in Fallout 4, something was interesting to me. Now on first glance it looks very similar to the Pip-Boy 3000, but there is one big difference that I want to point out. On the Pip-Boy 3000, the dials and the knobs are on the left side of the device, but in the Fallout 4 reveal trailer, the knobs and the dials are on the right side of the device. Why exactly was the change made? Well, let me tell you. Now, if any of you have read the Art of Fallout 3 art book, which was an art book that came with the collector's edition of Fallout 3, it talks about the art of the game, and it also has a section on the Pip-Boy. And on the screen right now, you can see an important bit of text that I just want to highlight to you, which makes the swapping of the dials on the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy very understandable. So I'm going to read the whole text for you so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Quote, There are various buttons and knobs slightly oversized to facilitate handling with a gloved hand. The grill indicates that the circuitry within can get pretty hot and proper ventilation is required. Also note the gloved hand with a control box mounted on the back. It has a large knob and coiled wire connecting with the main unit. That knob is the primary controller for the user to manipulate the on-screen cursor. Now here is the important bit. It's only years later that I realized we should have put the knobs and control on the right side of the screen as opposed to the left. This would have been considerably more ergonomic. Oh well, ergonomics were never a priority in design for this era. Now what does the writer mean here by more ergonomic? When you have the dials and the controls on the left side of the Pip-Boy, when you're wearing the device on your left hand, when you use your right hand to control the device, you're going to have to reach over the screen of the Pip-Boy to access those knobs and controls, which means it obstructs the view of the Pip-Boy itself. So just imagine wearing the Pip-Boy 3000 with the knobs on the left side and having to try and control them, your right hand is going to be obstructing your view of the screen. So you see the mistake that they made in terms of ergonomics. Now they fixed this. Look at the Pip-Boy in the Fallout 4 reveal trailer. The device is still in the player's left hand, but now the controls and the knobs are located on the right of the device. So when you're using your right hand to control the screen and control the knobs and controls, you're not actually obstructing the screen itself. So you can still view the screen whilst controlling it. I just thought that was an interesting thing that long-term fans would appreciate and many fans might not actually know because not everybody got the art book for Fallout 3 and probably not everyone read the whole thing from back to front like I did. So anyways, I just wanted to point out that fun thing for you guys. Please follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links to those pages are in the description below. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself and as always, keep fighting the good fight.